Okay, I'm going to post a video of how I made this particular picture. I posted it, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago, and a lot of people were asking how I made it. So I'll tag those who requested to be tagged, and I'm going to show you how to make this pretty much exact same picture. So I already prepped the canvas, which is white. I did not dilute the white. I just used just cheap white and poured it everywhere on it. Okay, and I literally, I don't dilute the colors. I'm just gonna pour them kind of equally, six um, evenly spaced vertical rows. So I'll start with the red. not diluted. I do leave a little bit of white in between. Doesn't have to be perfect. I'm using a different shade of blue this time, but the concept is the same. Then okay. This is where I just take, can you see the paintbrush, any paintbrush, and I just pick a small to medium width at the end. And I basically do kind of like infinity shapes. And I try to not lift the paintbrush up. I go all the way zigzag, so you'll watch how I do that. I'll be doing this a few times. So I don't know if it's a true infinity, but it's kind of swirly. And I'm not lifting the end of the, or the tip of the paintbrush off the uh, canvas. Going in the middle, and I'll be doing this a couple more times. Yeah, it'll need more white, too. Yeah, I'm going to be adding white. You'll see. Yep. I'll be adding more white. And I do this first, and I basically do this pattern again with white added into the middle of all those colors. You could go slow, doesn't matter. Now I don't tilt the canvas whatsoever with this. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe this tip off. Now I'm gonna add white, not diluted, basically in the center of all the rows. Okay, I'm going to do the same swirly pattern again. I'll start up here and, and like see I see a lot of white here. Actually, I'm going to add a little yeah. bit more red. Okay. All right. I'll do the swirly pattern again. Oh, 
and you can decide how wide you want your swirlies. You could have them real wide or real narrow. It just drags the paints to, into each other. And if you had to lift up your brush, that's okay. You just start where you left off. Like, see? Oh, okay. I'll go back to where I was. No big whoop. <laughs> I love how they incorporate into each other. By the way, my daughter is filming, so thank you <laughs> for doing that. All right, so now I'm going to dry this off. I'm going to look and see if I want to make any... The purple kind of disappeared over there. Yeah, so I'm going to add a little more purple here. And that green isn't blended at the bottom. The green, you're right. See, my daughter's got yeah, excellent bottom. advice. All right, so I'm going to add a little more purple here because I... Well, I don't want as much white. And I'll just kind of swirl it in. Doesn't matter where you start. Kind of go all the way up. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off. I can see that green, the green. The, on the bottom. Yep. And the blue. Um, I'm going to add a little more green. Oh, yeah, the green kind of disappeared. Yeah, the green disappeared. Thin green line. So you can just do finishing touches throughout. Or, you know, anywhere. All right, I'm going to re-swirl. Hopefully more green will show up. <laughs> See? That one at the bottom is what you meant. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, swirl that I'm going to re-swirl those bottoms. And that red in the corner. Yeah, let's redo this, too. Let's just kind of... Just wipe it off after each time so it doesn't mix the, the colors that I don't want mixed. By the way, I'm just using a larger canvas turned upside down and the smaller canvas inside, and this is just a garbage bag. Since I'm not going to rotate it, it works fine. Okay, so the red. I'm going to add a little more white to down here. Eh, maybe if I... Hold on. I'm going to swirl it. Maybe the white will come through. Nope, it didn't. So I'm going to add a little bit more white. I'm right there. A little more contrast. Not too much. Yeah, just like a little dab. Then I'm going to kind of start swirling up here and incorporate it down to here. Go up to the side a little bit. Oh, yeah, that orange and yellow at the bottom also right. isn't blended it. that well. See if when you go through it again, it makes the, the pattern a little more tightly packed. All right, right. Let me go back down here and... That not as in the yellow pronounced. Yep, let's do the yellow. So it's not just a glob of one color. Uh, do the green a little the green. bit more. Yeah, yeah that right. area there, yeah. And see that? Ooh, see there's a lot of yeah, white there. I'm gonna yeah. add a little more green. So a little more green there. Yeah. Okay. Do the swirling again. A little more green. Mm -hmm. It's disappearing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's One do more another. line of green. Let's do another line of green. In the middle. Yeah, right, right in the middle. Yeah, in the middle there. All right. Yeah, there's a lot more blue. You're right. Yeah. So see, you can make changes as you go. Okay, let's see what we got. See how fast it is? It's it's awesome. All right. I like it. I hope you do too. I'm obviously not going to... Here, let me just rotate it like that. Can you like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching. I 
Hope you liked it. You saw it was not paused. It was super fast. So hopefully someone else will try this same technique. And if you do, please tag me or post it underneath the post I'll have. All right. Thank you very much. Bye.